So in the 1940s, St James's Park was no longer host to professional football. Um, it didn't mean the end of the ground uh, for local use, community use. Um, it was decided that a regional tournament wouldn't quite suit the footballing needs of the community because the blackout times were coming in a lot closer. You know, no one wants to watch football without having a beer and they've all got to head home. So it was decided that a more, um, to keep, keep the interest, it'd be better to have more prestige friendlies. Um, there was boxing talked about here as well. The army had requisitioned the ground, so it was in use for the Home Guard. Um, we do actually have footage of the Home Guard in front of the old big bank um, drilling. They've got fixed bayonets. You've got guys dressed in German and English uniform, sorry, British uniform, over by the bank there, um, which is all overgrown like a jungle. Um, stories of local kids actually coming in and playing amongst the weeds and the terracing and sort of imagining their own little battles. Um, so the ground was in constant use throughout the war. But as we sort of came into peacetime, in sort of 19, 1946, the club reformed, football was played here again, the sort of the detritus of war had been removed, the terracing on the, on the big bank had been repurposed and was now considered a very comfortable place to watch, to watch local football. Um, Exeter City became sort of a shining example of the local area which had been heavily damaged and is a symbol that you can reform and rebuild into the future.